at the Nat Bailey Stadium at Scotiabank Field right now, but we're not playing baseball for the Vancouver Canadiens today. We are at a special event put on by Brendan Gallagher. And Brendan, big event today because this is something that's put on near and dear to your heart. Tell us about the event. Oh, it's, um, you know, we got a lot of local celebrities, some, uh, some of your favorite hockey players and other, uh, you know, uh, big name guys that are going to come out and, and put on a good show for a very good cause. It's the Shriners Children's Hospital. Um, it's something that I've got a little bit of a soft spot for myself, anything to do with children. I think they do great work. Um, you always appreciate, you know, the volunteer hours and, and the hard work that they put in, but at the same time, they're not going to turn anyone down if you don't have the money to uh, to take care for your kid. They're going to do it anyways. They're, uh, they do it out of the goodness of their heart. Um, they work as hard as anyone else. And I thought it was a very good organization to get involved with, and I'm looking forward to hopefully many more of these down the road. Was it too tough to reach out to some of your pro buddies to say, look, come on out and throw a ball around with me the odd time at the Nat Bailey? I mean, what better place to throw a ball at? Yeah, and I think guys are really excited. I think guys are looking forward to the opportunity to come out, um, you know, have some fun, embarrass ourselves a little bit, and uh, and put on a good show for the crowd. So um, we're really excited about how many people are coming out. I think it should be fun. We'll try and put on a good show and make sure they enjoy it and want to come back next year. A little bit of a change from you going from the Giants all the way up to the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, there were a lot of naysayers. You and I have had that discussion over the course of time, but good things come in small packages. How's your career going for you so far? So far, so good. Um, haven't reached the ultimate goal yet, and uh, each year you come back, you're training and you're trying to get there. And It's been no different this summer. We're trying to work um, so you can go back as an individual and, and help your team and be a good teammate and do whatever the team needs you to do, but you got to prepare your body the best you can in the summer. Um, and I feel like I've done that, and I'm looking forward to getting back and starting the year. You got your conditioning coach. Dad's working with you. Is Dad pretty tough on you? <laughs> Always, I think. Um, <laughs> you know, it's been it's been a great relationship. Um, we've been able to separate the whole, uh, you know, training part of it, and and him being my dad. And uh, when we're at the gym, that's what he is. He's my trainer. He treats me anyway. He's pushing me to get better, and uh, he wants me to have success just as badly as as I do and anyone else in Montreal does. So. Um, I appreciate all the hard work he does. It's not going to stop, and um, hopefully we can continue to have success and build on what we've done. Canadians doing so, so successful. Of course, Carey Price, uh, the backbone for the organization. What a hell of a year he had last year. It was it was unbelievable. It was really special to watch. Um, you look at um, consistent-wise, I think, game after game, he was, he was our best player, and uh, you can't ask for anything more from him. Um, you know, as a team, I think we can do a better job of helping him out. But certainly, he was there to bail us out and making us look better than we uh, than we were at times. And um, we're we're pretty fortunate. I think every team relies on their best player, and, and certainly he was our best player. And night after night, he he showed us why. Uh, played unreal. Not not bad for a young boy from Northern BC. Yeah, it's, uh, he had a great season. Um, he was happy with it. But I'm I'm sure he's like everyone else in our locker room. You know, it, it doesn't matter. We didn't win. Um, there's corrections to be made. And he's on hard, as hard on himself as anyone else. And um, obviously. It's hard for us to find areas for him to improve, and I'm sure he did that knowing the type of person he is, and he's going to come back even better for it. Working with Brendan Gallagher for the very first annual softball event here at Nat Bailey Stadium. Regardless of the score, there are indeed no losers in this game. Everyone at this game, from the players to the fans to the media to everyone that hosted this behind the scenes, everyone is a winner. So I'm not even going to give you a score because basically it's a one nothing score for the Shriners event and Brendan Gallagher. From Scotiabank Field at Nat Bailey Stadium for Sportswave, I'm Steve Erickson.